If you want to go to a camp, French Woods is the best one you could ever go to. French Woods means the world to me, really. It's basically a second home. French Woods, in some of the most important years of my life, shaped who I am. I've been going to camp at French Woods since I was 11, so this would be my eighth summer here, and nothing can keep me from coming back. French Woods gives you the opportunity to have an individual program, a unique experience, where your entire day is mapped out by the, the desires you have. It's really amazing to be able to pick your own activities and be able to pick your own schedule. The kids can come and pretty much do whatever their heart desires. We do 80 shows a summer. They take place in five theaters across camp. We do these full-scale productions and we do them in approximately 12 to 13 days. We really work to have every child who wants to participate be able to participate in the show. So they're gonna be cast in the largest role available to them. We do two to three performances of the shows and we're done. And you know, and then we turn around and do it again. In addition to those, we have a number of performing opportunities, including one acts. We have performing troops that travel around the Catskills to other summer camps. Between technique classes, performance-based classes, and technical theater classes, we offer approximately 20 classes every period. Other than running all of our shows that we do here at Frenchwoods, we do teach a number of classes. Children come to us with any level of ability from beginner, intermediate to advanced. We have, you know, kids that are very young that would like to run a spotlight and be up in the catwalk. And then we've got the whole other end of it we've evolved into offering design for all of the kids. Our stagecraft department consists of two different scene shops and we outfit our five different theaters with scenery for about 80 productions per summer. Whether you are summiting the iceberg for the very first time, leaping towards the stars on the trampoline, carving up the waves on a wakeboard, or simply hanging out with friends on the beach, the French Woods Waterfront has you covered. Instructional activities are available from a novice to an expert level. Whether it is learning to water ski or feeling the wind fill the sails, or simply taking a moment to take it all in at the end of the day while relaxing on the beach. French Woods music, each session has its own special moments. Each session allows a student to excel in what they're doing, pick up a new instrument, have voice lessons while also studying the violin, playing in a pit orchestra for the very first time while also playing in a symphony orchestra. In concert band we perform and practice pieces that are more pop and jazz. In orchestra we practice and perfect pieces that we perform for the camp. But on top of that there are classes they can take with professional musicians that we bring up from New York City. That's not something that happens everywhere else. And that is part of the whole musical snapshot. What makes studying voice at Frenchwood so special are the amazing opportunities each camper has to develop their own vocal identity. Frenchwood's campers have the opportunity to work in private one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as in vocal ensembles and the vocal repertoire classes. Rock Shop is about performing. It's actually playing the gigs. You find a band with either your friends or people that you don't know, and then you find your room and you find a counselor to help you, and then you can start learning songs. There we just get to like be with our friends and learn all of these really cool things like how to play instruments. Are you interested in playing with other people and performing? Are you interested in writing music, honing your skills a little bit more? All those things, you know. Just go to Rock Shop. Rock Shop, in a way, I think it means freedom to express yourself. And it kind of, you know, embodies French Woods in a way. You're focused on doing one thing, but it's what you want to do. So in the circus department, we've developed into one of the largest amateur programs in the world. You can run away to the circus, but just at camp, and it's so fun. If you've seen it in a circus, chances are we do it here. Right now, I'm in Mini Tramp. We're learning to do the base of jumping, and after that, we can learn how to do front flips, front handsprings, dive rolls, and many other crazy stunts. My favorite things are probably silks and the low cast, and you feel like you're flying when you're doing trapeze and low cast. We have three different performances over the festival weekend. We do our main circus show, which is really like nothing you've seen before. It is the amalgamation of all the hard work and all the 
blood, sweat and tears that the kids have put in. And what seems like chaos into the days leading up becomes this fine-tuned machine where these kids come out and get to perform and show exactly what they're capable of. Then we also do a nighttime show, which we call Firefly, because it has fire twirling and flying trapeze. It's the final day of festival weekend. Our youngest camp is catered to, and we do our junior circus show for our seven to 10 year olds. We believe in self-confidence and trying to teach these kids that hard work pays off, that nothing is for nothing, and you get out what you put in. Three, two, one, action. You get to design your own short film and then help direct, star in it. It's where the kids will come in, they'll pitch their ideas. We don't tell the kids what they're going to do, they tell us what we're going to do as a group. We shoot and edit our own little short film and then we present it at the end. It's any kind of aspect of filmmaking that you can think of, we'll teach it. So that's incredibly fun because you get to learn about the whole process. In radio, I co-host a talk show. We talk about French woods and some obscure current events. We plan shows mainly. So you come up with your show ideas, we create show jingles, we do news, weather, and we put like a really fun show together. I like to dance because you can really express yourself without talking and through movement and it's great for you and I always feel great after it. When you come to French Woods, you'll come into one of our awesome five studios and you'll be placed into a dance class. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced dancer, in any style of modern jazz, tap, ballet and hip hop, you'll find a class that matches your ability and you'll find friends of your age in that class. So every teacher is allocated to a show. We might be the juniors, uh, the middle camp or the upper camp shows. They'll be a big part of whatever production or musical is being put on, depending on how much dance is in that show. French Woods Horseback Department. We do an English and Western writing program. In horseback, I'm in beginner English. Sometimes we, we go on mini trails and we sometimes do obstacle courses. I, I do advanced riding, so we do long trail rides, cantering in the fields and jumping in the arenas. All the kids, they do a lesson one day and then they'll do a trail the next, so it kind of breaks it up. And then they get a day in the arena and they get to really work on their riding skills. Almost every kid at camp, sooner or later, ends up in an art class. There are so many things you can do. Wood chop, we do leather craft, we do glass mosaics. We have game design, graphic design, which includes web design. My favorite activity is drawing and painting. Ceramics, there is jewelry. What's really nice is that I can make bracelets for my friends and family. Chain mail, photography. We have a huge dark room. We do digital and dark room photography. We have a silk screening studio where campers can design and print their own t-shirts. So during the session, campers focus on projects that they can show in an art showcase at the end of the session. A good actor can make people weep. A funny comedian can make people laugh. But the magician, and only the magician, is the one who can get people to gasp in astonishment. The very thing about magic is learning all this really neat stuff that I only see on television or in professional magic shows. Do this crazy trick. We have people cutting people in half. We're doing Houdini's metamorphosis. And here, the kids don't just learn how to do it, they are actually performing it. We are given a trick and we practice it. And at the end of the session, we show that trick to all our friends and our families. So here at Prince Woods, we keep things competitive, but we don't keep them cutthroat. We don't put a lot of pressure on winning or losing. Performing arts is really great, but it's also nice to have a chiller environment within the camp where you can just go hit a ball around for a little while. We have our three full court basketball courts here. We also house our volleyball in this building. We also have a batting cage here. Outdoors, we have another basketball court. We also have our soccer fields. We have our baseball fields. My favorite activity is tennis because I love it. Now we have a mixture between private and also general lessons. We have state-of-the-art facilities and also incredible professional coaches 
who take the players through step by step all of the strokes and all the ins and outs of the game. So in the Mo, we offer Zumba, yoga, we have boot camps, we have spin class, we've got strength training class, even right back to the basics and just learning how to use machines intro to weight. So in a typical session at skate park, the kids can come in and decide whether they want to skate, whether they want to ride a scooter or a ripstick. And we also have a parkour section. There's a 10 foot half pipe, beginner street section, more advanced street section, multiple ramps and a bowl. So the kids can come in and either free skate on all of the facilities or pull us aside and we can teach them anything they want to learn. Here at Project Adventure, we like to see it as a good little release. Now they might be down there working in music, working in theatre. So we like to think Project Adventure is it's a way for children to come out, get some exercise and try new things they haven't done before. It's not really for the overall activity, just like the staff. They're very fun, very supportive. They're just a fun group to be around. They'll encourage you to do new things. There's zip lining and you can do ropes courses and you can rock climb and there's so many things that you can do that if you do it as a major, you'll never run out of things to do there and it's really fun. We are, you know, something the kids can do for a minor or as a hobby when they just enjoy cooking. Something we've started this year is we've kind of been adding in themes for certain majors and minors. So we've added in breakfast clubs. So it's every day the kids are doing some new breakfast thing. And another thing we implemented this year was a master chef. And that's something we added for the kids who are maybe considering going into a culinary hospitality degree or just really love cooking and want to learn more advanced things. I think my favorite thing about French Woods is you get to meet a lot of new kids that have a lot of the same interests as you. Even when you're new, everyone always welcomes you and you just feel like you're part of like a team the outgoing and eccentric theater kid that I was isn't goofy and isn't weird because there's a whole, you know, realm of other kids that are just like me. Because you're just like so excited to get here. Like I take the bus to camp every year and like there's a bunch of us that are just like so excited like we can't sit still in our seats and so we like listen to music and like jam out like on the bus just because we're so excited to get here. What really keeps me coming back to French Woods year after year is not the amazing activities that we have, it's not the facilities, it's the people who are here. Coming here I've met some of the most important people in my life. Three of the campers that were in my bunk last year are in my bunk this year also. But then I also have a chance to make new friends. French Woods means to me my second home and where I feel like I have another family. You know, so it's really nice to you know keep these friends and see them every year. You become such a more cultured, understanding, tolerant, accepting person by being here. I never thought I would be able to sing in the show or edit my film. I know what that magic was like for me as a kid and I want to show that off to everyone who comes here. I want to give them that opportunity.